Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. On Sunday or Monday, depending on your time zone, SpaceX successfully launched their fifth mission of the year with the launch of Starlink 637. The booster which launched this mission, B-1073, then landed successfully for the 12th time on the drone ship a shortfall of gravitas. Stage one landing confirmed. In relation to this launch, SpaceX posted some information. They said Falcon 9 delivers 23 Starlink satellites to orbit from Florida, completing our 300th successful launch. The Axiom mission to the ISS was supposed to launch today but has been postponed. The AX3 launch is now scheduled for tomorrow, Thursday 18th at 9.49pm UTC or 4.49pm EST. In a couple of days we can also hopefully expect to see another Starlink mission launch. The Starlink 711 mission is currently scheduled for Friday 19th at 2.22am UTC or Thursday 18th at 9.22pm EST. There was an interesting article posted related to Starlink avoidance manoeuvres. It says SpaceX has reported that the number of close encounters between its satellites and other orbital objects has not increased in the past six months despite the constellation's growth. Heading to Boca Chica, even more tanks have been delivered for the orbital tank farm. Here's yet another horizontal tank being delivered to Starbase. Work on the construction next to Star Factory has been continuing. There was an article posted with information from Musk about Flight Free when he did the All Hands presentation recently. It says, Flight Free, we want to get to orbit and we want to do an in-space engine burn from the header tank and prove that we can reliably de-orbit, Musk said. We want to do a tipping point header to main propellant transfer. This is important for the NASA Artemis program. And we also want to demonstrate the payload door for the PES dispenser for delivering the Starlinks. La Padre posted some information related to Booster 13. It says, after a long delay, stacking of B-13's methane tank has commenced in the front right corner of Mega Bay. Taking a quick look at the Cameron County website to finish the video, SpaceX still have the same temporary closures. They are for today, Wednesday 17th, tomorrow Thursday 18th and Friday 19th. As always, I have to say thanks to both Mary, otherwise known as Boca Chica Gal, and Sean Doherty for being out there filming the Starbase content. Also, thanks to the NASA Spaceflight team working behind the scenes on their videos, live streams, and other space content. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.